In today's Health Watch, is living alone bad for your health? Local 5's Caitlin Corbett looks at the potential impact. The number of Americans living alone has more than doubled since 1960. And now research shows living by yourself may negatively affect your health. Many Americans are living alone and isolated. Dr. Richard Schwartz believes being separated from other people is an unnatural state for human beings. Data from the U.S. Census Bureau shows about 30 percent of households in the U.S. are occupied by just one person. More and more Americans are more and more socially isolated and more likely to describe feelings of loneliness. A new study published in the journal Cancer found that adults who live alone have a 32 percent higher risk of dying from cancer. Social isolation and loneliness have also been linked to other health conditions like heart disease and dementia. And some research has suggested living alone increases the risk of death from any cause. The effect of social isolation and loneliness on our health is as powerful as things like smoking, high blood pressure, obesity. But if you do live alone, Dr. Schwartz says you don't have to be lonely. Make it a point to connect with others as much as possible. One study found regular 10-minute phone calls can help ease loneliness. We are healthier, we are happier, we are less stressed when we uh, maintain our connections to uh, other people. You may also want to try volunteering, joining a support group, or taking up a new hobby. Pets can also keep you company, and studies show owning one can improve both physical and mental wellness. Also, try keeping a gratitude journal. One study found daily gratitude writing lessened loneliness and improved health among older adults. Participants in the cancer study who lived alone were also more likely to have a fair or poor health status, obesity, and serious psychological distress. They were also more apt to smoke and drink. And that's your Health Watch. For Local 5 News, I'm Caitlin Corbett.